Greetings, everyone. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day as usual. We're going to take a tour of this 2024 Cougar Half Ton 30 RKD. So a few things about it. It is a rear kitchen, so it's going to have a nice big kitchen if that's what you're looking for. Anytime you hear a camper that says rear kitchen always has a really nice big kitchen on it. On the outside, we're looking at 7,610 pounds. 34 feet, nine inches. It sleeps six people. Freshwater tank is 54 gallons, gray is 60, and the waste is 30. Another really cool thing about this, it does have uh, four point auto leveling on it, electronic tongue jack, electronic stabilizer jacks, uh, dual pane frameless windows. This is a four seasons camper, which means you can stay in this all year long if you would like to. So it's got a heated and closed underbelly. It's got uh, extra insulation. Uh, auto grade painted fiberglass front cap. Uh, what else can we talk about here? I'll show you the little outside kitchen and stuff. Nice big powered awning. Pass through storage up here at the front with a light. So you've got plenty of space in there. It does come equipped with the Solar Flex 200. So that's got a panel on the top, and what that will do is keep your battery charged. You can run your slide outs. Uh, when we get inside, this does have a 12 volt fridge. It'll keep your fridge running. You can run your awning out. What's really cool with that Solar Flex is it's super easy to upgrade, and it's actually more affordable to upgrade because they've actually done a lot of that wiring for you. It is 50 amp service, so it is wired for two ACs. I cannot remember if this unit already has the second AC in it or not. We'll look inside. If it does, you're going to have one that's 13.5 thousand BTU and one that's 15 thousand BTU. Solid entry steps going in and out of the camper. I'm sorry, this is 2023. I said 2024, 2023. Outside kitchen, you have your griddle top out here and you also have a fridge. And I talk about it in a lot of my videos. These outside fridges are fantastic. If you have little ones or grandkids or even friends hanging out over at the campfire because kids are gonna be out running around playing at the campground, which is awesome. They're gonna get thirsty, they're gonna get hot, they can grab a drink right here and they don't have to flap in and out of the camper, which is always nice. We have, let me double check this. Yes, we have a tankless water heater in here. So you're gonna love that. That means you can take as many showers as you want. If you've got full hookup for sewage and stuff, you don't have to worry about your uh, black tank or your gray tank getting too full. Uh, super nice. You also have an outside shower out here. Ladder on the back, so it is a fully walkable roof, meaning you can get up there to clean and maintain it if you want. Uh, two inch accessory hitch back here, and that has a 300 pound capacity. So if you wanna put uh, one of those tower things in there to take firewood or bikes, you can do that. It'll handle the weight, no problem at all. Outside speakers, let's go check out the inside. So we'll start at the back, which is gonna be that rear kitchen that we were talking about. Uh, this is a 10.4 cubic inch 12 volt fridge freezer. Plenty of space for all your goodies. You have a um, microwave, of course. You have a 21 inch Furion range and check this out. So the light is red on here. That's because this was turned. This is a really cool feature. So again, talking about kids and stuff, but I mean, even adults. If you accidentally were to leave one of these on, that light will go red, you know, to turn it off. And it works even if you don't have these lights on, which is a really cool feature. So you've got a glass top over your stove, so you can use this for uh, prep space, serving space. Fold that back, and it will be a backsplash for when you're cooking. And as I said, nice big kitchen because it is a rear kitchen. Lots of storage options in here. 50-50 uh, stainless steel sink with detachable sprayer. I also want to point out, you'll notice that the ceiling in this is a domed ceiling, which is very nice because it gives you that extra height in here and it just makes it feel more spacious. This unit sleeps six. I don't think I mentioned that when we were on uh, the outside. I think, I think four, I call it four, but Keystone's website says six. 
because your booth dinette will turn into a bed, so that's going to sleep too. I guess they're saying you sleep two there and then in the bedroom. So four to six people, depending on how you configure it. So you've got your booth dinette to have your family lunches, breakfast, dinners. You've got your theater seats here. Those do recline. They also have heat and massage cup holders. And that is directly across from your entertainment area. So you have a massive TV that is on a swivel. You have your electric-only fireplace. Fantastic to have one of these, especially if you like to camp early in the season. You know, the campground's getting ready to open, I think, April 13th or 14th. Uh, we're still going to have some chilly mornings and some chilly evenings. You kick that on, it will take the chill out of the majority of the camper. And you're using the campground's electric, not your propane, which is super nice. Directly above that, we have our Bluetooth CD DVD player that will control your inside speakers and your outside speakers. You can connect to that from your phone or you're sitting out by the fire. You can play music out there. You can let friends connect to it. And some additional storage there next to your fridge. There's one of those ACs. So that is uh, ducted. So that means it's going to be quieter and it's going to be more efficient. We have a porcelain toilet in this pass-through bathroom. I love the pass-through bathrooms. They just give you more space. You've got your neo-angled shower here with the clear glass sink with storage below as well as a nice big medicine cabinet. Max air vent to take out the steam and the stink. Everything is ran on your in-command system. It's always four zeros when you get a brand new camper. You can run your slides, your lights, you can adjust your climate, you can see what condition your tanks are in, how full they are, turn your water pump on and off, and check your battery. You also download the mobile app and you can control everything from your phone. So that's nice if you pull up, it's raining, you wanna run your awning out, or if you're by yourself and you're getting set up in your spot and you need to be on the outside to run your slide out to make sure it doesn't hit anything, you can use that. And I'm not gonna lie, I have also adjusted the temperature from my camper when I was sitting on a couch because I didn't wanna get up. We're camping, it's about relaxing. Another feature you don't see in a lot of travel trailers is a king size bed. So you've got a king size bed that does have storage underneath it. You've got um, storage back behind the bed. You also, so this one doesn't have that second AC, but since it's 50 amp service, it's wired for a second AC. So if you wanted to put that in either before you picked the camper up for the first time or anytime later, you can do that. Nice big closet with stacking storage as well as hanging storage. And then directly across from the bed, we've got a bank of cabinets and drawers and a place to hook up your TV. So you can actually have a TV back here in the bedroom if you would like to close it off and get some peace and quiet in the evenings. So there you have it. That was the 2023, not 2024, 30 RKD. Price-wise, we're looking at a retail price of $61,083, sale price of $45,885, $424 a month. As always, if you have any questions or comments, or I missed anything, or you would like more additional information, or maybe you've seen a unit on one of our, or one of our websites, on our website that you would like to see more of, let us know in the comments. We'd be more than happy to go do a tour of it. We try to do one or two a week when we can on YouTube, and we post daily on our Facebook page. So as always, have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for watching.